there YouTube. How would you like me to tell you how to get your cows knocked up without having to worry about a big bald bull roaming all over your homestead all the time. Stick around and we'll show you just how we did it. Hey, you, hit the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to Toops Time. I'm Cody and today we're going to be talking to you about artificial insemination. So artificial insemination is the act of you actually putting the sperm into the cow rather than a bull putting the sperm into a cow to get her pregnant. Most of you who have actually clicked on this video probably already know at least a little bit about what AI is so I won't go into much more detail than that. This video is actually going to show what the process looks like and it's actually way more simple than you think. Me, I like to do everything myself around our homestead so it was a little odd for me to have to let someone else come in and do some work for me but we actually hired out a technician to do this and whenever someone really knows what they're doing this process is actually quite simple so before we actually start showing you the video of the process itself being we did have to hire this out what did it actually cost us to inseminate our cow right now all we did was inseminate autumn but we're going to be using this insemination process for all of our other cows as well for one cow our technician came out and charged us seventy five dollars and for seventy five dollars he actually seeded the cow and then came and did the artificial insemination process about a week after that alright so aside from the cost of the technician there are other costs involved as well, mainly the cost of the semen. If you are hiring a technician, you will not have to keep up with your own nitrogen tank for storage and among other things that you have to have just to keep the semen on hand. All you have to do is pay for the semen and your technician will actually keep it for you. Now the semen cost can vary widely depending on which breed you get and whether or not you get sex semen. You can actually get semen that is sex. So if you want a bull, you get male semen. If you want a cow, you get female semen. And they say it is an extremely high probability of being correct. So what kind of semen did we actually get, you might be wondering. We got mini Jersey semen. You might also be wondering, well, you don't have mini Jersey cows. Why'd you get mini Jersey semen? Because we actually wanted mini Jersey cows to start with, and they were way too expensive. So we are going to go ahead and start breeding down to the mini Jersey breed. And the man who we got the semen from we actually met on YouTube. He found our homesteading channel and has been over the top informative and just wanted to bless us and he actually gave us 20 tubes of his uh, semen from his, one of his bulls and uh, I will not tell you his name because he asked me not to. So the amount of calves that we're actually going to get out of these 20 tubes is not necessarily 20 calves and you might be wondering what you mean this doesn't work every single time? No, it kind of depends on the cow. It varies from cow to cow, but the national average is a 50% success rate. So if we go off the national average and we get 50% of these 20 tubes, you know, we're going to be able to get 10 calves out of these 20 tubes of semen that this man gave us absolutely free of charge. What a huge blessing that is. All right, so now that we're done talking money, let's head over to the barn and we're gonna actually show you what the process looks like. I must warn you, it's gonna be very short because the process itself really doesn't take all that long. All right, guys, we're heading out to the barn to start the process of getting autumn inseminated. This is Nick with Cooper Cattle out of Lamar and uh, the girls are probably mad at me. I locked them into this first paddock today so it'd be easier on us but they're all waiting on So what is this part right, again? So this is a cedar it's called okay and it's a progesterone implant okay that we're going to put inside the cow okay and this will start her get in her hormones in her to make her start cycling okay so so that just hangs in there yep oh okay hang in there just like that so then you'll pull it back out and then in your next days meeting. later we'll come back pull that and give another shot so the shot he's about to give her here is called 
cloprostanol and what this does is help ensure that she's going to be in heat whenever he actually goes to inseminate her 10 days from this video. You'll notice whenever he gives her this shot, he immediately moves his hand, lets her get all of her moving out of the way, and then continues on to inject the shot rather than trying to hang on like he's riding a bull and giving this injection. I show this little video clip here because I was thinking uh, the next day I came out to milk her, I saw that it looked like the cedar was starting to come out. But the tech reassured me that that thing's not going to come out unless you pull it out. She just is pushing a little bit because she feels something inside of her and probably feels like she needs to push it out. All right, I'm out here to do phase two of this artificial insemination process. I've got two cc's of the medication. I've got to pull that plug out of her, or that cedar is what it actually is. Got to pull that out of her, and then I'm going to stick her with this right there in the hip. Now, see how this goes. Well, that part was easy. So the cedar removal and the readministration of cloprostanol takes place seven days after the first meeting with the tech. And then three more days after this video is whenever the tech will come out and actually inseminate her. So there he is. Our technician has arrived and he's hard at work. He is getting the semen out of this nitrogen tank and getting it to the temperature he needs to start the administration process. And again, we are going with miniature Jersey semen. All right, girl. So I will say earlier, um, she, she don't normally let me like touch all over. She's a nice cow, but she's not like, she don't really like being loved on. And I went behind her because she had poop on her tail and I was cleaning it off and her tail lifted up like she was ready for it, you know, so. That's a good sign. I guess that's probably would be staying in heat for her. And she had some marks on her side, yeah, like, probably yeah. So it's a good sign. This may take and her head's in. If you need to get closer, you can just oh, move this out the way. Right okay. This may take five minutes and this may take five seconds. Okay. I didn't even get that water for you to drink, Missy. And she's always, her two pregnancies, she was ran with the bull, so she's never had this one either. Yep. She had She's blood on the glove. I guess that means that you're in the right spot. Huh? No, that's capillaries. Capillaries? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I got you. Bust. Okay. Sometimes. Usually when you ain't bred them before, that's when they. Okay. How'd it feel? Did it feel like? Oh, yeah. She was in Good. Good deal. So awesome. Yeah, I figured this morning the way she's been acting that she was definitely there. All right, you did good, girl. Good job. She's like, I'm ready to get out of here. I'm so ready to get her out of that stanchion. We forgot to give her a shot. <laughs> got one more of those shots that she got the past two times on camera. And he said that it just helps the percentage. Now she's wondering 
what she's doing in that <laughs> pen over there. <laughs> yeah. So the very last part of this process is actually just a preg check. So the technician is actually going to come out after 28 days and he's going to get a blood sample from her tail, send it off and will be able to tell us if it was successful or not. Also, I really just don't want to have to pay for it again if I don't have to. <laughs> Guys, that's pretty much it. The entire process, like I said, took one week. The actual time involved in the labor portion of it really wasn't all that much. As you saw in the video, the clips were very short because that's really the only amount of time that it took. I'm sure Autumn would disagree, but it wasn't very difficult, I don't think. Um, <laughs> she's going through a lot more than we had to go through, so hopefully this thing worked and we do not have to do it again because I don't want to go through it again for Autumn. The technician doesn't want to go through it again. Autumn doesn't want to go through it again. And my pocketbook does not want to pay for it again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you got a lot out of it. If you did, please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell and stay tuned for the next one. God bless y'all.